Hello friends. Welcome back to the video series in basics of cell scripting. In this video, we will discuss how the read only command is used in the cell scripting. Let us create a script at first and here at first we are removing those lines. Now we have a variable that is known as val and we are assigning the value 10 to that particular variable val. Then we are editing the script as echo and then the value of the variable and here we are providing the value of the variable with dollar val end of double quote after that we are providing here the read only val that particular line that means here we are writing read only and then the val after that we are providing or we are assigning the value of the val once again with the 11 and now we are once again trying to find out the value of the val using echo command and here echo dollar val after that we have to execute the script at first save the file with the control s and after that we are navigating to the terminal and as you know the file is in desktop directory so we have to navigate to the desktop directory and here we can find out using ls command the file hello.sh is here so we can now execute the script with the command bash hello.sh now value of the variable is 10 and here the first one line is ok value of the variable 10 after that on line 6 val read only variable so after that when the echo command for the val variable is once again provided the value is once again the 10 when first time we assigning the 10 to the val variable there would be no problem on the next line displaying the output correctly but when we are using the read only command or keyword it confirms the variable val as read only that is we cannot reassign any other value to the variable that's why the next echo command is also giving the value of the val as 10. Now, not only the variable, we can also use the read only keyword or the command with the function also. Let we add some lines with the script. And here we are providing one that is named as hello. And here we are providing the hello with the echo command echo and after that suppose we are providing the string as hello world after that end of the curly brace and once again we are calling the function hello after that once again we are providing the read only keyword with the hello function minus f and then the name of the function hello and once again we are writing the hello function with another way that is echo and after that suppose we are providing the string hello world again what happens when we call that particular function hello once again so, control S to save the file. Now, once again, 
execute the script. Here, once again, bash hello.sh. Now, the first line, value of the variable 10. Then, the hello.sh or line 6, val read only variable. So, the value is once again 10. After that, for the first echo from the hello function. Hence, here the echo is hello world. After that, once again, the hello function has been defined once again. So, hello read only function. So, the output once again after calling the function hello, the hello world, not the hello world again. In that case, the hello function is executing without any error for the first time. But when we are using the read only keyword with the hello function, we cannot override the function once more or never. Practically, remember the minus F option is required to use the read only keyword with the function. So, the next hello function execution or calling thus gives the same output. So, sometimes we really need some variables which we don't want to reassign or some functions we don't want to overwrite. Then this command or keyword read only comes handy and we achieve our goal. Now once again edit the script and add only one line to the script and that is read only. Nothing has been provided with that particular keyword. Control S to save the script. So at that moment, once again, we are executing the script. So here at first Control L to clear the terminal. And once again, we are executing the script. Now look, up to that word, the hello world that has been provided. Now, the last read only that particular keyword is giving us some more output. Here we see all the variables which are built in read only by default, such as the bash ops, bash verse info, EUID, PPID, sale ops, etc. So, check all the variables which are built in and also the read only. Now, we can also use the minus p option with the read only comment. So, here once again, we are providing the minus p. Control S to save the script and once again execute with the control L to terminal and execute the script. Now, so it is we have bash hello dot sh. So once again, we can see the output remains the same. That means using the minus p switch with the read only keyword gives us the same output. Practically, with the minus p, the read only gives us the list of all read only variables which are built in. Same as to check for all the functions which are read only, we can use the minus F switch. Control S to save the script and once again execute the script. And here Control L to clear the screen and once again bash hello.sh. So, here we can see the hello function has been declared as read only. So, we are finding the hello function as read only. So, this is how we can use the read only keyword or comment with the variable or with the function in cell scripting. If you find the video is useful, you can like, share, comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe the channel.